In today's lesson, we're going to counting with money. We're going to do a price match sort of game. Okay, so let's begin with the word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, if you have your Godly Learners Great Tape Mathematics Workbook, you can pull it out at this time and turn to page Roman numeral four, where we will recite our morality creed for the morning. <clears throat> I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God. I love myself and others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, amen. Thank you so much for reciting that creed with us. It's always refreshing and reenacting, and we love to do that here. If you have your workbook, you may turn to page 161, that's 161, where we are going to do a price match sort of game. Okay, I'm not sure if it's a game, but. So we have our stand and we're going to, the very first two things we're going to do is price our two objects here. So here you have a teddy bear and you have a bowling pin. And the teddy bear doesn't seem to want to stay up. There we go. Okay, let's see. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Stay. All right, so we have bowling pin. And the bowling pin is priced at this amount. And the teddy bear is priced like that. Let's see if you can scoot over just a little. Maybe I shouldn't touch you, teddy. You stay for me. Thank you. Okay, so the bowling pin is $1.50 and the teddy bear is $5.25. So here's my question to you. Which of these toys costs the most money? Which of these toys is gonna to cost you the most money? If you said the teddy bear, you are correct. Good job. And it's gonna cost you $5.25. That is like saying the teddy bear is gonna cost you a $5 bill. Five dollars plus a quarter, which is twenty-five cents. Five dollars and twenty-five cents. This is one way to get to this um, amount of money. You could also use dollar bills and different types of coins, like two dimes and a nickel, or several nickels, like five nickels. <clears throat> but this is how much he's going to cost. Five dollars and twenty-five cents. He costs the most. What about this guy? He is $1.50 if we want the alien bowling pin. And that would be like, how would you, what kind of money would you need? What sort of denominations would you need? You would need, you're right, if you set a $1 bill in two quarters, you're correct. One dollar, what's another way we could also make this? That's another way we could come up with $1.50. We could also use all quarters. If you have six quarters, that would be a dollar and fifty cents. You could have, um, you could exchange this two quarters for our half dollar. Do you remember our half dollar? There it is, half dollar. How much is a half dollar worth? It's worth fifty cents. So this is another way you could create, you could um, put money together to equal one dollar fifty cents. Good job. Let's try 
Let's try another combination of toys. Let's try our toy duck. Hi, toy duck. And our toy, our bit car. We call this the bit car. So here's toy duck. It looks like he needs some crutches. He's, <laughs> he seems to be limping, but that's okay. We'll, we'll leave you. And so we have toy duck. Here's toy duck. And we also have big car, which this is big car. Can you see those prices okay? Okay, good. So the toy duck costs $3.10. The big car costs $3.10. So let me ask you, which of these two toys cost the most money? If you said they're the same, it's because you've been paying attention. Good job, excellent work. Yes, the both of the toys are priced at the same price point. They're both $3.10. And so how would that look if we wanted to purchase this at a store? I need to go to the store, I need to get some money to buy my toy. What would that look like? That would look like one, one, two, three dollars. There's three dollars. What else do we need? Yes, if you set a dime for 10 cents, you are really, really getting uh, very good at this. What's another way you could you could come up with your coins, the 10 cents? You could ex exchange the 10 cents for, what about two nickels? Let's find some nickels here. Let's see if I can find nickels. Where are you, nickels? There you are. Yes, you could also do $3.10 because each nickel is worth five cents. And if you're counting by fives and you have two, you're going to say five, ten. Another way you can come up with a cents is ten pennies. That's another way. Do you remember that? Yeah. Ten pennies would be a little bit clunky, a little bit clumsy, so <laughs> I'd rather not pull out ten cents. That's another way you can do that. So I just wanted to um, give you an opportunity to see how you go into a store and you say, oh, mommy, look, I want a toy. Well, mommy's going to say, well, how much is it? Have you ever heard that? Or daddy's going to say, what does it cost? And you want to be able to know what they're talking about. Look at the price tags. And they may say, $3.10, that's too much money. You know, that's too much money. You need to go and get something that's cheaper or something that costs less money. So that's something you can think about. Well, thank you so much for participating with me and uh, working through that. I'm so glad to have had you in class today. But until next time... God bless. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I'll be your friend So don't you worry